All right, we've got my meter set to uh, ohms. And when it's one, that means it's not detecting a connection. Um, and then it, it drops down to zero when uh, there is a connection between the two points. So it's like kind of dropping down to zero. And uh, when I recorded this, I didn't, I was like thinking that that was okay, but that is not okay. Um, later on, I take this apart and I clean the inside, connect the contacts, um, and, and then it works a lot better. But uh, the yellow is on the power pin, and I am now switching it to the first position, uh, like fan position number one. And I'm going to touch fan the power pin, and I'm able to look at it and see that when it's in one, it's sending power to load, and that first pin that I just touched also is getting power. So now I'm going to switch it over to two. And I confirm that there's no power now going to the first pin, but there should be power going to the second pin. And there is, um, and there is, when I say power, I just mean that it's connected to the power pin. There's no power in this module that's sitting on my table. Uh, next up, I'm switching over to the third pin, third position. And when I switch to there, it's it works. Um, going into the fourth, on the fourth pin. I should have also checked that the power was making it over to the load pin as well. So, um, because once I installed this as is back into my car um, without cleaning it first, it ended up being very, uh, like the second and third pins uh, were, I could hear the relay clicking on and off and on and off and on and off. Um, the, the contacts were not clean. Um, so, um, I hope this helps you uh, diagnose your Subaru Impreza fan switch.